All right, guys. Well, welcome to September 17. This is a big day for us because this is actually the very first uh, anniversary, month anniversary of MIC. And I'll tell you a funny story how we, we, uh, we were bootstrapped to launch MIC that day. So I was in LA just kind of chilling out and trying to prepare for the launch and stuff, but I wanted to take a vacation before the launch. And all of a sudden I saw on one a big troll um, Twitter, started posting all this stuff about MIC. I'm like, where the hell do you get all this information? It turns out our developer posted the, the, the website up and it was a beta version. It wasn't even the real one. It was a beta version he posted up and then, dude, these trolls are crazy, man. If, if, if they only use their brain for good, they could be very, very successful in life. I mean, dude, these guys are on my ass, dog. They, they know shit before I even do it. That's the crazy thing. So I was alerted that MIC launched before I even launched it. And that's the crazy part. I mean, it was pretty damn funny, dude. One day, it's like I'm walking around eating and drinking in LA, and I was like, what the hell? Did we launch? So I contacted Alex, and I was like, no, dude, we didn't launch. And so we had to call up the developer Homeboy was sleeping, you know? <laughs> and I was like, dude, wake your ass up. Turn this shit off. And what the hell is going on? So we were, we were like freaking out because I'm like, damn. So I'm like, these trolls, like, how the hell do they know we, how do they know what the URL was? We kept the, the, the name of the, of our, of our chat, of, of our club very private. I didn't tell anybody our name because the name, my investing club, gave away what my vision was. All these years, everyone's doing a chat room. And I'm like, dude, that's not what, what we are. I, we are not a chat room. We may have a chat room. Of course, we will have a chat room, but we are not a chat room service. We are a club, and club members help each other out. This is not a pump and dump chat room where you come in and start. It's like a message board. So the whole idea of this message board stuff, is just I hate it because it comes from the old days of pump and dump boiler rooms, right? You're, you're in these chat rooms, and you're just pumping and dumping. I, and, that, and I was like, dude, that's not us, dude. I am not doing alerts. Me telling you what I'm trading in AMD pre-market, giving you a plan, telling you where the lines are, where I'm entering the lines are, is not an alert, guys. If you think that's an alert, then that's a big thing. We are basically laying out the plans. And this is my plan. You have your own plan. The reason why I'm, I'm talking about my plan, let's say for AMD, is the fact that other people are new, they want to learn, and they want to learn how I formulate my plans. I don't deviate from my plans. If I deviate, I lose. And so I told you exactly where all of the orders were, pre-market, the lines. It's up to you. I mean, I don't really know exactly where it's going to go, where it's going to top, and how the hell am I supposed to know that? I mean, the only, the only way that you would know that is if you took and moved that low flow stock yourself. And I have a lot of people in the room now that I could actually pump if I wanted to. I could pick a low flow stock, pump it, and dump it. And like, oh, dude, I nailed the top, man. Yeah, no shit, because you the one that caused the move. You moved the stock. You bought it at the low. You pumped it to your guys, and you sold it. And you said you sold it. So, of course, you hit the top and the bottom. You got to be a dumbass to lose money. And these guys do lose money. So, that's an, in my opinion, that's an alert. Okay? You're learning someone to your pump and dump. Me? I am giving you my plan, and this is how I'm trading it. And these are all super liquid stocks, guys. AMD, I'm like, good luck. Good luck if we are moving the stock. I mean, shit, dude, I, I would love to be able to move an AMD stock, right? Um, and so, so the funny thing is, go back to the trolls. So the, 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 the trolls launched our site for us. So that's the funny ass shit. So I guess we, we were, I mean, they were tracking us for a long time or something. They have some sort of service. I'm like, dude, these guys are good, man. They might be. I'm, I'm looking outside my window now to see if they're still here <laughs> looking at what I'm doing with binoculars, right? But that was a funny thing. So we were forced to launch. And I talked to my developer and my developer was like, oh, yeah, you could have just launched a month ago, but I was trying to fix some, some other stuff. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? We could have launched a month ago. I've been waiting for all this time. So the troll, so thank you, troll. Thank you, trolls, for trolling us so hard where you launched us. You forced us to launch. And so that was the funniest thing. So we pre-launched on Friday last month. And so this is our one month anniversary of our pre-launch. So, and so we, we used that weekend to get all our stuff because we weren't even ready, dude, but we were forced to launch. And that was the best thing ever because, you know, like that, that, that basically shows us 
in life, in trading, shit happens. You have a fucking plan, but shit fucking happens. So you need, you need a, a plan, a B plan. Basically, it's your stop loss plan, right? So we, I, in my, so I had a stop loss plan because I mean I've been doing this web stuff for a long time. I used to be a developer, so I knew that shit happens all the time. I know that shit crashes, things get leaked, all this stuff. So what do you do? So I was like, so I called the developer. I was like, dude, launch this shit, turn everything off. All we need is a log on. <laughs> if you can get us a log on, we have a chat that we can log on and start, and the rest could be phase two. And that's exactly what we did. So the main thing is just to get get you guys the content right. I mean, doesn't do I? I even told like I just just like what we're doing the boot camp. Doesn't matter if we're doing the shit at at a fancy Las Vegas hotel or even in the park or at an Airbnb. The point is to get the content. So that's my whole intention. And so I thank I thank the trolls and I thank you guys for 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 joining us. So so today is a big day because I, every time I think about it, I was like, thank you, troll. These trolls are giving us actually helped us. So maybe I should I maybe I should thank them. So I'm thanking them now. Thank you, trolls, for launching MIC or helping launch MIC earlier. All right, so let's let's talk what we're talking about today. So I woke up today very excited to trade. I'm like, fuck, I, I'm ready, man. I'm gonna bank. I'm gonna... So so I had to contain my excitement. And then I looked up, and so when I looked up, so the first thing that I saw was A B I L. You guys can see my screen, right? I was like, dude, this is good short. Let's track this thing, five bucks, whatever. So I, I did all my due diligence with the, and I'm waiting to get locates and I couldn't find any locates. So I was like, I was really bummed out, dude. Same thing with this, M-Y. I mean, even I can't get locates. You can get it if you wake up early. I woke up, so today I woke up very, very late. So that was my bad. Um, I stayed up. I was so excited to trade guys. I, I, I was waiting. I couldn't sleep. So seriously. So I, I, I usually sleep around before like 11 a.m. Or, I mean, 11 p.m. over in California, which is like 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. market time, right? That's still late. But I, I fell asleep much later than that. And so I couldn't, I, I missed my alarm. I was like panicking when I woke up. And so I missed all the locates. Um, so this is very typical. So so this is a so this is a good learning experience. Like, not everybody can find locates easily. The big guys, yeah, they have their special ways to find locates because they're big guys, right? Uh, but so what do you do? So I'm like, fuck. I wanted to trade so badly. So so I didn't force a trade. I didn't I didn't like start picking up stuff just randomly start trading. Stocks develop during the day. Uh, plays may not be present at 8 a.m. in the morning, but maybe at 9, they present themselves. So that's exactly what happened, guys. So at, let me move this back. So at, so NBEV, M-B-E-V, so that presented itself. So I was able to locate, uh, I wanted a bunch of them. They only gave me like 20,000 shares, but that was enough. I mean, shit. Um, I may not use it all, but they, I took it, and I was like, okay. So I'm waiting for this thing to, to do something. And so let me show you what, what happened. So I, and then, so now we're going to talk about the process I used to pick my top two or three, right? Cause I could not find locates on the ones I wanted. I had, a, I had some on M Y N D, but I wanted to go back to 280. So 280 was a line that I did. I didn't want to chase down lower. And unfortunately it did tank. I was like, fuck it did tank. But what can you do, man? I'm sticking, I'm sticking to my discipline. I hate to chase down and get caught. Those that chase here got caught. So now it's okay. If I go back to this 260 line, I will short it. I have some shares, but it didn't go my way. I mean, I had a plan. My plan was to reshort it around the 280 line. It didn't hit. I could have nibbled early, but it was, it was, I, I didn't have a good feeling for it. The volume was actually very low, guys. If you take a look at the volume, um, I'm going to put it right here. NYND. So in the morning, when you could have shorted it, volume was tiny, man. That was not enough history for me to to guess whether or not it's going to go down or up. And so I, so I'm I'm looking at. So I'll, I'll tell you what my rationality is, okay? Why and so I, I usually use this bigcharts.com.
I do the year so I can take a look. Okay, four dollars, three fifty, three dollars. You see, see general, right? So how quickly I can scan this and come up with my general lines. I call it line because I just draw a horizontal line across, not because of my resistance areas or my support areas. This is just eyeballing, okay, guys? So there's a, like 20 tickers I go through each day. And so you, the, the more you see it, the quicker you learn it, okay? So over time, you learn enough to just take a look at it to see if there's enough meat to trade or any of that kind of stuff, right? And so, so I zoom in from one year to six months. Now you see a, a better image. 250 seems to be the line here. Uh, $3 is better. 350 is even better. So I have my three points already. Um, it's actually around two, 280, 275 right here. If you keep zooming in, uh, this chart doesn't show it, but you can use other charts that show you better indication right here. You see this guys, 275. So that was my line. Um, so that was actually what I wanted, but I did not get that because that occurred at earlier than I was able to get up. <laughs> so I got up late today. And so that kind of screwed me. I was too excited. You see how the, you see the irony of it? I, I was so excited to wake up and work. I, I fell asleep. I, I, I freaking fell asleep and didn't wake up and I was too tired. <laughs> so that's kind of funny. But, but you know, that was my line and it, it didn't hit. So I did not short it. As simple as that, guys. I mean, I'm not the master of chasing this thing. I mean, I, I, my whole thing, I keep telling you guys, it's, I, I I am all about high probability trades. Sure, I could chase it down, make some money, and beat my chest. But, dude, I'm just a normal dude that don't know this shit. Doesn't know. I don't, I don't know it's going to go down to 215. So the only thing I do is play it safe, man, waiting for the higher probability ranges that if it hits, chances are that it will go down. And people ask, is this a long or the short in the morning? Remember I said, I don't know. To be honest, I don't know because the volume is too little. If this sucker was big volume and the supports were supported, meaning it would drop and it would bounce and it would make a higher low each time. Then I could be safe to say that, yeah, dude, this could be possible long. So notice what happened. It bounced. It did not bounce, but this was already way, this was at the open. It was like, dude, so if you were trying to front load the open, front run the open, you're screwed on the, on the bounce. This is basically for me a no trade because the volume is so low that it, it didn't do anything to, to give me any indication whether or not it's going to go up or down. It's always a no trade, right? You see that there's, there is no, uh, all I did was this. This is the only indication I got. The top was set and it tanked down. So I had a feeling where the top was. So that's why I wanted it short. I didn't know where the bottom was too long. So for me, I don't wake up and say, I want to short everything. That's not how I do it. I, I first identify the stock that is in play. I identify the news. Okay, what the reason why it's up. Um, then I define the chart to, to see if it's long or short or all that stuff, right? And this was a short because it rejected off the top and it never bounced back up. Uh, but but I mean, I, did, I was waiting. It was just not enough information. So... If it's not enough information, it's a coin flip. Uh, other people may have more insight than they more they're smarter than me. I don't know, but I'm just I'm just trying to teach you as an average person how you would analyze this. Exactly, uh, Mash a lot. Waiting for the right blackjack hand, dude. I'm waiting for that blackjack hand. If it hits here, dude, this is an 18 to 20 hand. Here, I don't know, man. <laughs> you know, so. It's okay. There's a million of these hands that keep coming up all the time, right? I'm just waiting. So you remember, I keep saying you only need one or two plays to make your money a day. Why are you wasting on a mediocre hand? Wait for the good scenario. I'm going to tell you what the good scenario was. Okay. So this one did not have enough information. Okay. And, and I was like, why is this sucker up? You know, so this thought was kind of like NYND. It's like, to me, it was marginal. I couldn't get much locates on it. I couldn't get a good feeling. So I just kind of passed up on it. Then MBEV came. I was like, why does this sucker all of a sudden just shot up pre-market? Let's take a look at that. So this was my top play. Everyone was talking about MYSE. Uh, 
the weed stocks, Abel. No one was talking about MBEV. We talked about MBEV. I, I told you why it was MBEVs. So I'm going to tell you the secret now. Holy crap, look at AMD. Um, Thirty-three line. If you want to take a quick shot at that, the next line would be up is high though. So you got to be very careful about this breakout. You see, AMD if it breaks thirty-three with conviction, it's going to most likely end up at the 350, 369 line. So those are shorting. I I I I've had some orders a long time ago at thirty-three line. It just hit. That's why. Uh, let me let me just take a look at this. So if thirty-three, like the twelfth area, let me see. Next will be 33.28. But if 33.10 breaks, I might just stop out and then, you know, it's not worth it. So um, let me put some orders here because I just filled around the 33 area. So more, let me see. Uh, I'm trading while we're talking. See, this is okay. Um, so keep an eye on that 33.10 area. I get the hell out. Okay, so. Um, so MBEV, why was this my top pick? The reason is I'm like, why did it shoot up? I'm trying to find a reason. I'm like, what? Coca-Cola. So this is the reason why, guys. Coca-Cola, K-O. And we posted this in the room too. So Coca-Cola was like eyeing cannabis-infused drink market. So they're buy, they're hoping to buy some CBD, some marijuana type uh, drinks, and so this this basically shot up on that stupid stupid news. Now the pumpers are trying to say that uh, they are a candidate for being bought out by Coca Cola, and so that's the reason why. So I'm like, dude, if that's the reason why, I'm like, that's 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 pretty good bullshit to short. And so this was my top pick based on the fact that, so that is my edge. I determined that's my edge. My edge is, this is a sympathy, sympathy play. Has no bearing on Coca-Cola. What are the odds that Coca-Cola is going to buy this shit? The only reason it's up because some guy pumped it. And take a look at this. And Bev, look at the 10-day chart. Beautiful. So the top was already defined in MBEV. So I knew where I was going to scale out. The scary part is if, if MBEV had no movement for the past year, and so you, do, so you cannot have a history of where the cap or the top would be. And so that, you, and, and the fact that also, let's take a look at MBEV. Let's look at the, the share structure. 34 million shares float, dude. That's a big float. This is not a low float. And so this is... Chances are it's not going to go crazy, you know? So, so all these combined created a great edge for me. So that was my number one pick. I'm like, dude, this is it, man. And I'm, I'm foaming at the mouth. I'm looking at this. I'm like, please. So you see the line 210? So that was my first. So let's take a look at MBEV. I'm going to show you what I did, MBEV. Holy shit, look at MD. And uh, hold on, let me play some AMD orders. Uh, let's wait up a second, guys. Okay. MBEV. Let's see what I did in MBEV. And this is why I'm kind of pissed. Because uh, sometimes I play it too safe, but I don't lose. <laughs> I just make less. Um, so I drew my line. 210 was the first line. I really wanted a sucker. I wanted some dumbass room, pump a dump room to, to try to pump this as the next cannabis TLRY play or some crazy ass crap. Like, oh, Coca Cola's going to buy him. I wanted that to happen. Okay, so. So I wanted to go to 240. I was like, please go to 24. I would have been all in on my locate. So my so I determined my what my max size would have been. It was uh, 20,000 shares. So I gave myself just 
Because these are so low, man. You don't need that much to make money, right? I mean, if the suckers hit 2 4 I'm in 20,000 shares and it tanks 40 cents, that's a huge money, right? Just for that easy ass, no brain. I, I mean, you know, and it's safe, you know? So everyone just come up with their own number. Um, this is a day one, so I don't need to be in 100,000 shares. If this was day two, dude, I, I, I hammer it even more. So you have to trade what your edge is, okay? I have an edge, but at the same time, I don't know. How many of these black, quote, unquote, black swan situations have you seen in your life? A lot. I do black swans happen all the time, right? And so, so you can't be too greedy by going all in. You have to save your bullets. So I saved my bullets for 220, 230, 240. I had a plan. My plan was to scale every 10 cents because I saw some resistance here. This is just based on chart. But the ultimate goal is 240. The size would have been around the 240. So here I would have been big time. Unfortunately, only, dude, I was too perfect to exacting i'm not gonna call it perfect it's like it just sucks because he got to the first line only so my lines started at 210 right here dude i had two orders around the, the 210 line you see that i mean decent but fuck dude i this is where the huru the brother of the furu the hindsight grew because shit man i called this shit it's like fuck man i'm more pissed i couldn't get size but the fact is Hey man, I made money. I covered all the way down here. And then when it bounced back up, I took another sh a short. You see that? Then I covered down here. I mean, that's all you could do. I mean, the fuck man. It, but the, 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 what I wanted to show you this is an example of finding edge, waking up, pissed off, couldn't get locates on a bill and all that other stuff. And so I'm like, dude, so I'm looking for that one plane. This was that one plane. I determined what the reason for the stock being pumped up. It was Coca-Cola being some stupid pump. I was like, oh man, perfect. Number two, determine the charts. It's capped up at 240. So it's like fucking awesome. Uh, determine where I'm going to enter. See, I gave you guys the plan pre-market. I posted this chart pre-market. 210 was the line. That was my first entry. It was no stress, dude. It's actually zero stress. The only stress I had was, fuck, I could not get more sh shares. Fuck, I didn't, I should have filled more. So that's where the hoo the chasing and all that bullshit kind of fucks you up. And so if you take a look at this, 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 it was like the open. It was like, fuck, I didn't come back up. So I waited for it to come back up. And so I started to uh, nibble, but I really wanted to more size up here. So I was just pissed. I actually top ticked it again. So I top ticked it twice. And when you top tick the first bullet, the first entries is usually not size. I rather... I rather it go towards what I wanted, the 240. But remember what I said, guys, focus on entry. If you focus on entry, everything else is easy, man. I focus on entry and I had no stress. The only stress, I mean, if, if your only stress is not getting enough size, that's pretty good, right? But that you gotta be very careful. That's where, that's where the huru guy comes in and kills you, right? It's like, then you start chasing and then what's gonna happen is this. I missed it. I was right. Next time, I'm going to load the mother up. And then that's when you lose your ass, right? So you don't, you, you, every play is independent, guys. It's like this play is over. Fucking get it out of your system. Stop crying about it. Stop bitching about it. Stop being a little entitled ass. You know, you made money. It's cool. Do it better the next time. And I'm doing the same thing over and over, man. I'm drawing my lines. I'm determining my edge. And I'm having great entries. If you have great entries, what the fuck, dude? It's, it's okay if it doesn't go to the next one. But how am, I, how am I supposed to know that another pump and pump room did not go in and pump this thing up, right? I wanted them, but then that guy went on vacation. <laughs> if he didn't go on vacation, maybe he would have pumped it up and I would have banked on it, right? <laughs> um, and that's all you do. And then let's take a look at the AMD one. So AD, I gave my chart too. So I went outside of my niche on this because I was like, fuck, dude, I couldn't find a, a small cap play. Um, I made money by being very tight, but this is not, a, I mean, so I remember we, 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 we talked about the lines in the morning and I, that's all I did. So when it went, went up to the line and I covered down and it squeezed up, uh, remember 33, remember I keep saying 33. So I scaled up towards the 33. I saved all the big bullets for the 33. Exactly what we did. And when it went down, down, I, I, I covered them. Done. Uh, the first play, remember I said the first plays are always the easier ones, guys? It's the subsequent plays that gets harder and harder to, to figure out what's going on. So the first one, 33, obvious support line. 
Let's take a look at this. See, 33 back on 913. Obvious. It hit there, went back down. Hit there, went back down. That's it. That's all it is. You don't need much to make your money. Today is not a monster day. It would have been a monster day if, if some things went nuts like Embev here and I could, eight, I could get like 50,000 shares or some crazy shit like that. But it's not a monster day. But you know what, man? It's, it's fishing. I stick my pole out there every day hoping for a bite. Some days are minnows. Some days are big ass uh, tunas. Uh, the key is not to get pissed off and fall off of your canoe while you're fishing, right? <laughs> or your boat. And that's the thing I see people a lot to do. They're like fed up. They're pissed off. They, they stuck their, their pole into the, uh, the lake trying to fish. No fish is biting. So they get pissed. They get drunk. And they fucking fall off the boat, dude. And they become now, they become now uh, internet gif that I post on my Twitter, right? <laughs> the guy fell off the boat. Um, and so that's the thing, man. It's fishing. It's like, dude, every day you have to be there. How am I supposed to catch a giant ass bluefin tuna if I'm not there on the boat every day fishing? And I don't know what I'm going to catch. But I do the same. You notice I do the same type of things every day. It becomes pretty redundant, man. These view recaps are starting to look more and more similar, right, guys? It's the same shit. First, you have to recognize why the hell am I in the stock? If you don't know why the hell you're in the stock, you know, then you're fucked. Um, you know, f f for me, it was like AMD was, hey, man, if it, if it hit 33, that's a pretty damn big range, you know. It, it, and usually at round big numbers, it, it tanks down a little bit. So I can make a little edge off of that. So if you don't have any sort of strategy pre plan you're fucking screwed. So for me, Embev was it. That was a perfect, dude, this was so fucking perfect, dude. I, I, I'm so mad because. No one was pumping it up here <laughs> and it had one shot and that was it. And I took advantage of that one shot. Let me take a look at that. So I, I did exactly what I should have done. You see this? It, it hit here, the two land, I shorted here and it went down. You see that? And it went back, right back up again. I, I shorted more and I'm like, yes, please pump this thing out open so I can add more. But it did. It opened the tank. So the only thing is I can just scale out and then bounce back up and that's it. Cause I knew the top was in, I knew this was trash. So now I'm hoping maybe uh, during the midday, it becomes a zombie and it comes back up and then I can reshort it at 210 live, right? That's the only thing I can wish for. I mean, shit, okay, I'm not gonna sit there and force it, but you know what, man? Close the day green, no stress. Fucking beats what I was fucking doing back when I was a kid, right? <laughs> um, any question, guys? So that's pretty much how you find your edge. So, it's the best edge, the best edge, guys, I'm going to tell you, is, I'm going to whisper it. Now. It's sympathy, sympathy. It's when the stock goes nuts for no fucking reason because some other fucking idiot stock is up. Think about that. It's like, dude, what the hell does Coca-Cola buy, buying some, you know, have to do with this? You think Coca-Cola is going to buy this? <laughs> you know, so that's the best thing, man. Sympathy, guys. Sympathy. That's that's how you make big money. You don't attack the you don't attack the real head of the snake. You attack that little guard snake that follows around that big ass snake, right? <laughs> it's easier to kill that little guard snake than it is to kill the cobra. You know, let let the guys try to let the guys let the guys be the hero. Let them kill the cobra, man. I'm I'm just here killing the little guard snakes and fuck, man. Cleaning up, right? Sympathy, sympathy. It's like when you go uh, clubbing. <laughs> it's like you see a hot chick. Dude, that hot chick is very hard to pick up. Let the other guys buy her the fucking drinks. You get the other girls, <laughs> the sympathy girls. <laughs> right? <laughs> Easy, man. <sighs> it's like Snapple. I want to be number two. Number one, fuck, them. fuck that, man. <laughs> um, no, but, but seriously, right? Guys, sympathy. That, that, in life, that's, that's the whole thing. What's your edge? And, you know, you, and I'm like, dude, I'm not the best looking, the smartest, the richest, or whatever the hell it is. But you know what, man? I, I, know, I know what my advantages are, and I take advantage of it. Sympathy. Sympathy. <laughs> cool, guys. Uh, any more questions? The more you see it, the more it is. You know what I'm saying? That, that's the thing. So there's so many of these concepts that you have to, that, that it's like, there's so many different strategies behind this. There is the, 
uh, example is AMD. Let's take a look at AMD. Uh, it closed at 32.72. So the red to green move in the morning, did it do it? Uh, I don't know. This is, I hate these big stocks. But holy shit, look at that. Okay. Um, 33 line is still intact. But anyways, so basically, the, but, but this is outside my niche for a reason. This is a real company, guys. Uh, I have not much edge on AMD. There are guys that spend, I, I have friends who, who are like analysts of the shit. They get paid big bucks to study this shit. Algos study this shit. What is my edge? The only edge I have in this is the quick trades in the morning like, like you saw, right? And, I, I, and we did do that. Besides that, it's very difficult to find the edge. You think you're going to have some sort of secret information that I don't have, that, that another guy don't have? The only thing we have is the charts, right? And that's, and that's sometimes not enough. The charts only work good in the morning. That's why I told you before 1030, it's an awesome trade. We saw that. It's an awesome trade. It did what we did, right? 33 line, boom, tank. Take it, fucking walk away. If you came back in, they grind the fuck out of you. See that? They grind the fuck out of you, dude. So the only edge is in the morning off of technical analysis, off the dumbasses that are chasing. So in the morning, what happens is this. The guy that go to work, that does a market buy because he doesn't really care. Because he's just buying a 500 shares for his grandkids to keep forever. So it doesn't matter if he's buying this thing at $32.70 or $33. It's all the same. 30 cents off of 100 shares or whatever it is for his, like, keeping it for like five years, you know. So those guys don't really care. They're, they're using Robinhood, doing market orders because Robinhood is a free, had free commissions, you know. Just stupid shit like that. And so that's where the edge comes in the, in the beginning when there is some sort of uh, an unbalance of these open orders from – all the guys that, that don't can't even trade pre-market, right? They're, they're placing market buys because they heard AMD was good. So, so they place on Sunday night when they're watching CBS 60 Minutes and they, some AMD article comes out in 60 Minutes, they're doing a market buy. You know, just stuff like that. So that's like the, the, the kind of edge on AMD. And so it, it runs up and then it tanks down and you take advantage of that move. So in my opinion, that's the only edge I got in AMD. For me, all the guys are smarter, but for me. Um, where, where I get more edge is stuff like this. That's why I love small caps, man. Uh, you have to be very careful. If you short shit early, you're dead. You have to have a plan. And once again, let's talk about stop loss, okay? It's very important, guys. People are doing stop losses on prices. That's, in my opinion, that's, 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 that's yeah, that's what everybody does. What the fuck? <laughs> but more importantly, guys, in my opinion, this is my opinion only, okay? Stop loss, max loss. Max loss. How much are you willing to fucking lose on this stock? Because that will determine where your entries are and your, where your exits are. You know, you do the reverse math on that. And entries, everything in this game, guys. Every fucking shit in this game is entry. If you, if you fucking get into early, you're dead. Um, cool, guys. And uh, thank you for joining the room. And, uh, and keep studying. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to turn this on. Now. I'll stick around a little more for uh, members that want to keep uh, asking questions.